generation, our general overseer. I pray that the virtue Jesus. Amen. I pray that no weapon that is formed, fashioned against him and his household that will ever prosper in the name of Jesus. Amen. And I pray for all the choosing, myself and the, our pastor, his household, heaven at last, Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. I cover my testimony with the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Don't go. I want you to stand as we read that scripture that our Geo gave to you while you were standing in your former church. Okay. Nahum chapter 1. Hebrew, uh, sorry, Nahum chapter 1 from yes. verse 12. Nahum chapter 1, 12 and 13. Yes. Okay, I read. He says, because I want to connect it to his last testimony why he was holding snake. Remember this scripture was given to him while he was in the former church. Thus said the Lord, though they be quiet and likewise many, yet all shall they be cut down when he shall pass through Though I have afflicted thee, I will afflict thee no more. 13. For now will I break his yoke from off thee, yes. and will burst thy bones in sunder. I want us to clap our hands unto God of the chosen. Now, let's connect it. This scripture came to him by a geo when he was in former church. When he crossed over, in that day he was holding a particular snake. Am I right? And Gio commanded the snake to burst. Yes. And that was how the snake busted. Yes. And uh, within one week plus, all the debt of 900 and something thousand Peace. was cleared. Yes. Brethren, something is happening the Lord chosen. I want us to clap our hands unto this God of chosen. Another lesson, permit me. If our brother was not in that Thursday program, when Gio spotted his case, if he has gone to his business, he would have been still wallowing in this debt till today. True or false? I'm asking the church. But because he made himself available on that Thursday, and our pastor by the Holy Ghost spotted his case, and that is the end of the matter. Thank God you are here today. As a pastor prays for you, that your own yoke shall break in Jesus' name. The next testifier now. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And those choruses praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Great. He is so great. By the special grace of God, name is Sister Meso Akabebe. We joined this ministry in the year 2008. I want to appreciate this good God for all he has been doing in my life and my family. Thank you, Father. We live at Samuo Jiarui. My first testimony goes like this. My brothers and sisters, I'm very happy to be a choosing. Thank you, God of the chosen. I want to appreciate this good God of chosen for his favor upon my life and my family. It's happened last two weeks when my husband came back. He said that somebody favored me with so many things, food items, including this new phone. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God of the chosen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. As I was jubilating for the favor of God, my second testimony goes like this. This year, when we came back from Umbidi program, it was as if everywhere is closed. In fact, I don't know how to explain it, but this God of choosing, this faithful God, the only true and righteous God, the God of my pastor, the I am that I am, the impossibility specialist, the miracle working God, this same year, that's when we look up and down, it was as if no help. This God favored my family with three good tippers. Hi! Power! Are we clapping our hands onto this God? I can't see people that are rejoicing. Thank you, Father. Choosing praise. Hallelujah. If you are 
choosing your own turn is coming. Amen. It's turn by turn. The God of choosing that bless me, He will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Whatever be your desires, my brothers and sisters, I'm assuring you, the Almighty God, the God that called my daddy G.O., He will visit you, and all your desires shall be granted unto you in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to pray for my daddy G.O. We are not qualified at all, at all. But the mercy of God, through the ministration of our daddy G.O., qualified me and my family. My dear, they pray for a favor. He has been praying for us. And God of choosing, prove his power in my life and my family. I want to pray for that the Jew, that Almighty God will uphold him. Amen. I pray that anointing that breaketh every yoke will be upon his life in Jesus' name. Amen. For my mommy, the Lord, I pray that God will strengthen her, the strength of unicorn, to follow her daddy in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for the children that all of them will make him at last. For all the chosen ones, me and my family, our daddy and family, I pray for each and every one of us, heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. Choosing his first class. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Don't go, my sister. I can see that you are a testimony sister. This sister, Tuesdays, Thursday, she gives testimony. Now, I was watching the reaction from the congregation when she was giving her first testimony. So many people despise it in their heart. Is it handset you want to testify of? It shows that she appreciates every little thing that God does for her and family. And that should be the portion of every choosing members. No matter what you think is little, there's no little testimony in the sight of God. It calls Jesus his blood. It calls Jesus his blood. It calls God his son, Jesus Christ. So let us pray that God give us heart of appreciation. Now, the crowd, I saw the crowd rejoicing when she went to her second testimony of how God blessed them with three tippers. If I tell her now to tell us how God made them landlord, we'll hear another one. Am I right? Did God of make you people landlord? Yes, sir. How many story buildings? Two story buildings, sir. You see it? Yet, he came, she came to testify about handset and food items. To show that she has a mind of appreciation. I want us to thank God for that and clap our hands unto God. As we begin to cultivate the habit of appreciating God for everything. give us testimony. He came for the first time and was giving testimony. We were very surprised. You say you are coming for the first time and you are giving testimony. What happened? He said that he came down from outside the country and was traveling to the east in a bus. He is not a choosing. He was not a choosing then. He said right in the Lazarus bus a choosing brother started preaching. After preaching, he started giving magazines. He came across the magazine. He was flinging like that. I know across the magazine. He came about why where a particular brother testified that God healed him of Whitilo. Do you know what they call Whitilo? That thing that you know injury that uh, happens in the finger. He was angry in the spirit and said, "What is this? How can somebody be going to church and say God healed him of Whitilo? What is Whitilo? He didn't know that God was watching." After that despisement, right in the village, he was afflicted with the Whitilo. According to him, he said that he did every medication not to no affair. He was almost dying because of Whitilo. Before God came to him in the dream and told him, before you could be here, you must go to choosing and present yourself for despising what I did for somebody. That was how he came for the first time and was telling us, nobody should despise any testimony from this place. Shall we clap our hands unto God of the chosen? The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Mercy or DJ. My branch is from, I'm from Egbe One. I want to testify what God of choosing did for me on Thursday last week. I was here last week, Thursday. 
Then my phone rang that my mother wants to go and buy something. And she fell down. She can't walk again. And she can't open her eyes. That they carry her from where she fell down to inside the room. That since she can't talk again, she can't open her eyes. I said, ah, ah. I said, they should not worry. That I will present the matter to God of choosing that I'm in his presence right now. Then I now present the matter to God of choosing that the God of my pastor, the angel of my pastor, and the angel of the uh, choosing should go where my mother is right now to go and heal her for me. That as I'm here, I don't want anything that will disturb me, that will distract me not to serve this God. That I can't pack shit, I can't pack peace, so God of choosing. You are hearing me as I'm talking. Please send your angel, the angel of my pastor and the angel of choosing to go and heal my mother for me. That as I'm, I want to go now to go and do publicity for this program. After the publicity, I want to hear a good news that my mother, she has got up and she has opened her eyes, she has started talking. Then I now went for the publicity. After the publicity, when I got home and I call, I say, How far? As she got up, they said, Yes, so she has got up and she has opened her eyes. She has started talking. <laughs> that right now she wants to go and take her bath. I say, If she finished her bath, I want to speak to her. Then I now call again. I, I now speak to her. She said she's now okay. That I should thank my God. Clap your hands unto God of the choosing. That's why I'm here this morning to thank this God of choosing for this wonderful thing, for this healing that she has given to my mommy. That's why I came to testify. I cover my testimony with the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus Christ. And I pray for my daddy in the Lord and our mommy in the Lord and the children and the entire family. Heaven at last in Jesus name. Amen. And all the choosing worldwide and our family. Heaven at last in Jesus name. Amen. I want us to do something for this God of choosing. Thank you, Father. After this testifier, we will now take our first offering in fellowship. The first testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Master Jesus. Hallelujah. But that's what, please, can I sing a short song unto the Lord? Go on. Onye ye ke chi ne ke ni me chuzi no onye ye ya bo Tom by Tom Onye ye ke chi ne ke ni me chuzi no onye ye ya bo Tom by Tom 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 Praise the living Jesus Beloved brothers and sisters, I want to thank this great God of choosing who confirmed the word of his servant, our daddy G.O., even in my life. I want to thank God for this just concluded program. It happens that I was sitting somewhere there when a sister was on this podium testifying how she called our daddy G.O. and telling daddy that she wants to write an exam and she wants to have her baby. And our daddy said to her that she should be specific on the day she wants to have her baby. And she said she was, you know, numbering days. But our daddy said be specific. And she said she wants to have the baby. She named the day. And exactly God of choosing did it that way. And when I had this testimony, I remember I was writing my prayer request. And I said to God of choosing, I want to start up my business this December and I want to start it this first week I want God to favor me with the money from that day to Wednesday that was yesterday and 
God of choosing did it that same way. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. I am here to appreciate this great God who did not allow the word of his, of his messenger to fall to the ground. I want to thank him so very much. He's the only good God. He's the only one who can do what no man can do. He is the impossibility specialist. I want to thank God for this great favor of 155,000 naira. Clap your hands unto God of choosing. Brethren, maybe you are here, you're hearing my testimony, and you are saying, when will my own tongue come? Just wait upon the Lord. God of choosing, who knows the best time to visit his people? He will visit you at the very point of your need in Jesus' name. Amen. You do come on looking at me. Maybe you are saying, ah, is it just like that? Yes. Our God is a caring father. He will do it when it comes to your own turn in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to pray for our daddy, G.O. I want to pray that almighty God will continue to uphold him, continue to guide him, protect him all the days of his life. We do pray a prayer that God will continue to wear him like a garment. Brethren, a man can be wearing a garment and a tie can get tired of garments and put it off. My prayer for him is that Almighty God will not get tired of him. I'll, even as in David, as David of old, Abraham, God continued to be with them, being their friend even to their old age. So shall this God be with our daddy G.O. Even to his old age in Jesus' name. Amen. As for our mommy, I pray that almighty God, we continue to order her footsteps. This great God, we continue to make her to be finding favor in his sight all the days of our life in Jesus' name. Amen. For the children and the entire family, I pray that glory of God will not depart from them. God Almighty will continue to protect them. Amen. Preserve them every day of their lives in Jesus' name. Amen. We the choosing ones. I pray that this race will begin. It will never be in vain in our lives. Amen. I pray that God Almighty will give us every grace we need to run this race to heaven at last. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Amen. Oni nye nke chine ke chinke chuzin oni nye yabo Breden oni nye yabo Oni nye yabo Godomo kane nye go I can't hear your voice Oni nye yabo Pambay ton oni nye yabo Pambay ton oni nye yabo Pambay ton oni nye yabo Godomo kana kongwa Tambay ton oni nye yabo Oh, today is your turn. Turn by turn on in your yabo. Turn by turn. Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. We shall now rise as we give our face of 